what's on my desk today? Well, today I am editing footage of a video that I recorded on Tuesday. I will share the screen with you so you can have a look at my editing screen. This video is a 10 year ahead outlook and I'm putting together a 10 year ahead outlook to celebrate 10,000 subscribers because I thought you guys would like to see that and I got to this part of the video here which I've had to as you can see edit quite a little bit I've cut out a whole chunk of footage in here and I've just written what I'll do is make a separate video for this topic so this is the separate video that I thought I would make. So any of you who get to that portion of the video and you're like, oh, she's cut out a whole chunk. This is what I've cut out. Now, what am I gonna share here? All right, so in the video, I've done a 10 year ahead outlook. Each one of you can click on your mini sign and see for you personally, what's it gonna be like 10 years ahead when I follow Saturn's movement. Now, in the first part of the video, I have some world predictions. And I have talked about things like, and I've got them written down in front of me, Vedic numerology, what are the tough years ahead, things like that, power shifts from west to east, okay, these are the kind of topics that I, I cover. And one of the topics that I cover is what's going to happen with Donald Trump. I have talked about that in that video. And I talk about Martha Stewart's chart first and then I talk about Donald Trump's chart second now what am I doing here I'm talking about Martha Stewart's chart why because there was a portion of time where she was unjustly and unfairly put in prison and I wanted to talk about that little chunk of time because what she had going on in her chart was a similar cosmic weather that I can see possibly coming up for Donald Trump. And I know that he has had some difficulties lately and, you know, it, it, we'll take a look. Let's take a look. So I'll show you what I see when it comes to Martha Stewart's chart. And then we'll take a look at what's coming up for Trump. I also do make the prediction in this 10 year ahead outlook that there is some very strong astrology for him being in power in 2028 onwards okay so and that's where you know when I came to that prediction and I tell you in that video how I came to that prediction uh, it wasn't just by me it was it was by another video that inspired me but when I came to that seeing that all right he could be you know elected 2028 onwards well what's happening with the chunk of time before there, there are some things that could happen here and I'm not talking about um, justice or what's right or politics. Or, I'm just looking at the astrology, okay? And Martha Stewart is really interesting because she, uh, you know, she, she was unfairly and unjustly, I will say that, she was unjustly put in the prison and had to go through that. And why? Why did that happen? I think it's because she became too successful too quickly. She was the first female self-made billionaire in America and she went, you know, sort of hundreds of millions of dollars very, very quickly. And I think the powers that be didn't like that. And they were just looking for a way to cut her down. So let's take a look at when that happened. So I'm going to share with you my astrological screen. Uh, we've got here. All right. So now there's Martha Stewart's chart there. And if we take a look at the transit wheel, I did have a look at the Mahadasha setup. It's not too exciting here, Mahadasha wise, but definitely as per the transits, this is quite interesting. So it was October 2004. We've got that here on the screen. We can see that Saturn has just dipped in to this eighth from the moon house. Okay, so if we go back a few months, we'll see that this is, you know, for the first time, he just steps in here to Cancer, which is eighth from her moon. Now she's released March 2005. So let's click, we'll see a retrograde. And I'm sure there we go, she's released, right? So energy is better here, when it's seventh from the moon, March 2005. But then it's really interesting, it says here, she was then placed in a two year term of supervised release. 
During five of those months, she was placed in home confinement with electronic monitoring. Okay, so what is that? Two-year term of supervised release. Let's click up through the months and have a look at this two years. Look at that. This two years, isn't that incredible? We're following Saturn's movement here. You can see he is, for that whole period, eighth from the moon. And that is typically when people's lives change very, very significantly and you can go through a really tough time. The other thing that we have that's quite interesting to me here is we've got Rahu in Pisces. Okay, and the Rahu Ketu axis is we've got Ketu 12th from her ascendant, right? So that the line where prison, like she's confined, Okay, so and we've got this suppression energy here, and she is confined uh, to being at home, Rahu in Pisces, here in the fourth house from the moon, fourth house of home. Okay, so if we take a look at the chart of Donald Trump, what do we have coming up? Well, his is interesting as per the Dasha sequence. Okay, if we take a look at Jupiter's sun period, that is two, well, 2027, uh, end of 2027 through to March 2028. That's the sun there, sun in the 10th house. So we can see that this is strong for him being in power in 2028 as per the uh, Mahadasha setup. The other thing that's interesting, let's just have a look at the Mahadashas before we go into the transit wheel. You'll see here we've got Jupiter Venus running. This is September 2024 to what's that? May 2027. Okay, where is Venus? Venus is here in the 12th house. Okay, so that's not a good indicator there. 12th house, confined places you know, that kind of thing. If we have a look at the transit wheel, what you'll see here, and I was in 2008 looking at him earlier, but let's come back to what's happening now. Let's come back to 2023, 2024. All right, so what do we have going on here now? What we're going to have from November onwards of this year is we're going to have Rahu step into Pisces. Okay, and this is quite interesting to me because that is Rahu is kind of, it, it's, it's not, as we saw with Martha Stewart, Rahu was Pisces house of home. So that was quite, you know, that, that was a good match there. Here it's not so good, but it's, um, it's close, okay. This is this is this is close to the house of home anyway. But it is Rahu in Pisces, okay, and that is very interesting. So that's from November onwards. And then the other thing that I saw when I looked at his chart is when we zoom up here with Saturn. Let's take a look at this, April 2025 onwards. We've got Saturn steps in here. Uh, eighth from his ascendant path okay so this is for about 2.5 years from april march april 2025 onwards this could be a, a difficult time for him and look at that we've also got jupiter venus here venus as i pointed out is in his 12th house so there is some cosmic weather here that could uh, you know, create difficulties for him that could, as I say, put him in some form of house arrest, like what happened with Martha Stewart. Uh, some kind of similar thing is, is possible. I'm not saying that it's definitely going to happen, but the cosmic weather is, is there. You know, we can, we can see some storm clouds brewing. So I just wanted to state that, share that with you. That's what's happening on my desk today. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next time.